Consecration. Consecration means taking something out of its worldly context and dedicating it to God. To transfer something of ownership to God or to dedicate for God's own purposes. Welcome to one of our vlogs from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton, Georgia, and to those joining us on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, glad everyone's with us today. Um, uh, it, it amazes me at my age to realize that there are certain stories and lessons and things I've read or heard from over half a century ago that I still remember, still resonate today. And one of those that I remember is the uh, novel uh, God's Little Acre, written by Erskine Caldwell. God's Little Acre takes place is, is in a rural setting in a, uh, a small area of, of Georgia, right near the South Carolina line, it involves the inequalities of the textile industry, which I'm very familiar with growing up in South Carolina. And uh, Erskine Caldwell was, uh, actually went to school for a small, uh, short time to Erskine College, which is in, located in Due West, South Carolina, which is near where I grew up. Uh, he didn't finish there, but he uh, studied there. And he was a very uh, one of the most renowned writers of his era in the uh, first half of the 20th century. But God's Little Acre is about Ty uh, Ty Walden uh, and his family, probably one of the most dysfunctional families in all of uh, literature. Uh, but Ty Ty Walden, uh, had, there are many plots to this concerning uh, uh, economic inequality and greed and uh, lust, certainly, is a big part of the story. But also this part about consecration, because Ty Ty Walton uh, sort of very piously uh, offers to donate the profits from an acre of the land of the farmer that he owns uh, to the church. Now, this uh, most of his acres on, at this, on this farm don't yield very much. It's a very poor farm. It's not poor, farmed very well. Uh, uh, because uh, Ty Ty Walton and some of the other family members spend all their time uh, looking for gold. They believe that there's gold uh, on some of the land that he owns. So he spends his time instead of farming, digging up to looking for this gold. Well, lo and behold, after though he has dedicated a lake or God's little acre to the uh, 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 for have proceeds for the church, he discovers that maybe the gold is on this acre. So he moves God's little acre to another location. And then when that turns out not to be true, then he uh, ends up moving it again. But he keeps moving God's little acre around with a very obvious theme that all of us are guilty. And we're tempted to uh, say that we dedicate a purpose to God or dedicate part of our, our lives or part of our riches to God. But then we uh, move it around at our convenience. The hypocrisy is very obvious in this story. He keeps moving it around to try to uh, make sure that he gets the best part of his profits and God gets what is left over. Well, unfortunately, we are tempted to always do that. In our lives, we are called as Christians to dedicate part of our lives to God, and set our, in fact, set our entire lives to the purpose of God's work. But other times, we, we put other uh, worldly uh, values and other worldly go goals ahead of God. And so instead of consecrating part of our lives to God, really we consecrated two worldly values and worldly treasures and put God aside uh, during this time. Uh, during this time that uh, of Pentecost and uh, uh, tonight starts the uh, Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement for our uh, friends of the Jewish faith, is a time that we're supposed to ask for forgiveness for all that we've done in the past year and to start the new year afresh. And I think all of us would do well to start as part of our New Year's uh, uh, being more pious and more religious and ded more dedicated to God is to concentrate on what we have consecrated to God, what our, where we have placed our values and what part of our lives we'll give to God and what parts uh, that we'll keep for worldly type things. So as we go through this process uh, this time and all during the year, we will uh, continue to pray for wisdom and pray for guidance and say thanks be to God. Hallelujah.